Hey guys, welcome to our new series of theory of computation. Today we'll start with the basic of the subject. Basically, the theory of computation is a subject about what kind of computations a computer can and cannot do. If it can do some computation, then how much time does it take and how much space it will take. So, theory of computation is the study about this. Now, for example, let's say if we want to design a machine that accepts all binary strings ending with 1, okay? We want to design a machine that accepts all the binary strings ending with 1. Now, how will the machine compute this or how will the computer process this? It will check what is the last digit of the string. If it's 1, then it will accept the string and if it's 0, then it will reject the string. Okay. Now, this was the example for something a machine can compute. Now, let's look at an example for a problem that a computer or a machine cannot solve. Let's say we want to design a machine that reads a code and if the code goes into infinite loop then it says yes and if it does not go into infinite loop then it says no. Now this is a problem that a computer cannot solve or a computer cannot compute. Think about it. If the code goes in an infinite loop the machine won't stop running the code and hence won't say yes. And if the code does not go into an infinite loop but the number of outputs are high the machine won't know if the code is going in infinite loop or just a long output just by reading the code. It's like when you have been walking for a long distance, it feels like you have been walking forever. Okay, So this was the example for type of problem a machine cannot compute. Basically, this subject is about this. We'll be giving input to a machine and the machine either says yes and accepts the input or says no and rejects the input. I hope you enjoy and understand this subject. If you have any queries, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Thank you very much.